So I thought I'd do a little video to show you what a typical week is like for me. But it starts on the Friday. So it's Friday now. Children have gone. And it is quarter to four. I was talking for like 15 minutes. And I'm just getting bits done. I have... I'm going to get my morning challenges ready for next week. And have a look at Verphonics. And then that is it. So time to set up the morning challenges. On a Friday morning, I print out the stuff and my TAs get bits ready for me. So I've got like a phonics, a writing, a reading, and then I've got some maths and then just scissor skills at the end. So I'm just going to get the trays ready. So that's the challenges set up around the classroom. I try to think smartly about it by having in the same, this black tray is from Wilkinson's. It's like a seed tray or a litter tray or something. I have the different levels of ability and there are challenges already in there for the week. It sort of follow, follow a similar pattern. So we've got uh, phonics and handwriting. Then over here, we've got um, writing simple phrases, writing I need a. They've got the pictures there for them to say the word, robot the word and write it, write the phrase on there. This challenge is just a phonics challenge. Read the phrase and match it to the picture. These are gonna be laid out. So all the pictures are gonna be laid out. They can grab a phrase, read it, match it to the picture. Then we've got the math challenge, counting here numbers to 10, but obviously, Different levels of ability in their challenge will be underneath, but this get, all gets packed into the tray and they tied up and bring the trays at the end of morning challenge and put them inside my chair. The classic cut and stick. We're doing space at the minute, so we can just practice our sister skills here and cut and stick a little astronaut together. My phonics planning, I have it written out on these cue cards and then I check the planning and I've got my box ready to go with all my resources, my work cards ready for Monday. Next, I've got my math planning, which I look over and then I can annotate it with post-it notes to suit the ability of my class and where we are. So just check through the questions, check any resources that I need, and I can delegate this on Monday morning for my teaching assistants. Out the door by half past four. Gym done Friday after work. The weekend is mine. Monday morning, breakfast had, had a little chill with a coffee. Trying to get some housework done before I leave for work at quarter past seven. Printing out the plan for the week. Um, templates for the reading folder. My special planning for the children with special needs and stuff like that. Come on, Bridget. Hurry up. And this is my second trip to the photocopier in like 15 minutes because I sent my documents and they weren't there whenever I went to get them. Now to wade through all the printing, templates for the writing area, then I've got some images for the curiosity area, cards and things for the children to remember their challenges and the planning. Sorting the guided reading for the week. Uh, looking up high frequency words and getting them ready for the guided reading plan. Check in the pictorial timetable for the day. And it's time to let the children in. It's now lunchtime. I've taught phonics this morning. Then the children were off in provision. And I was hearing children read. And then we had maths. And now I'm going to go for my lunch. It is 11.35 and I have an hour's lunch from 11.30 to 12.30. So I'm going to have my lunch now and then I'm going to go for a 15 minute walk and then I'll come back in, get my bits organised and then I'm out on a Monday for management time. Just before I jet off for my lunch, I've got the morning challenges in order. One, two, three, four, five. I literally move number five to number one and then they cascade down and that's them ready for tomorrow. Lunchtime delicious. On a Monday afternoon, I'm out for my leadership time. I always plan what I'm going to do. Time to get stuff done. Second and final coffee of the day. So school is done and I've just come back to say bye to my staff. I have senior leadership after school on a Monday, which is from half three to half four. And that's the only day I leave a bit later than usual. So I'll come back, I'll get my morning challenges set out, check a couple of bits and then I'll be out the door by five. Time to check the maths group work for tomorrow that was started today. So 
So it's Monday and it's five o'clock on the dot and I am heading to the gym. And this should be my latest finish of the week. And um, good day.